Okay, I need to put my shards on my hand. One second. This is not the kind of video where it's okay to have ashy hands. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I'm being annoying. I literally just got back from the mall, so all the nerves are still here, and I thought this would be like the best time to film this video. So yeah. <gasps> Hi guys, it's Ifeanyewa. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ifeanyewa and I am a Nigerian content creator living in London even though I'm currently in Paris right now. I make videos on home, lifestyle, and so if you like the vibe over here, consider subscribing to my channel and I'm just going to jump right into it. I know some people just want to see the bag so I'm going to do the unboxing first and then I am going to tell you guys about the story time, why I went for what I went for, and my whole Chanel experience. I can't believe I'm doing this. I honestly, <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, guys. It feels so surreal. Okay, let me shut up and let's do the unboxing. <laughs> this is so exciting. On everything that came in here so obviously the bag but we'll get into that later it also came with the ribbon the camellia all the tissue paper and it's all Chanel branded I tried to keep it all as pristine as possible so I didn't rip anything and then I got the classic flat bag see this is my bag I can't believe I'm saying I feel like I'm gonna get emotional and it's literally like it's a bit stupid but this is my bag I got the Chanel classic flap in the medium size caviar leather in gold hardware I can't believe I have this bag so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about why I wanted this bag how I got this bag and yeah the whole story so basically I've wanted this bag since I was 18. I think that was the first time I recall knowing what this bag was, knowing that I wanted it and asking my mom for it. Looking back on it, I can't believe I asked my mom to buy me this bag. Like, So I've always wanted this bag. I just always thought it was really, really pretty. And when I did my luxury wish list for 2022, I had already saved up for this bag. I've been saving for this bag for a very long time, but I just didn't know that I could bring myself to buy it full price like that was a decision that I was trying to wrap my head around because I've never spent this much money on anything in my life so for the longest time I've been looking for this bag secondhand I've been to Chanel to try on the different sizes I settled on the medium size and I settled on caviar and I settled on gold hardware so I knew exactly what I wanted but this specific combination on the resale market is literally really difficult to find and when you do find it it can almost be more expensive than the resale retail price. Way back in January, I would kind of decided that I was going to buy this bag, but I wanted to wait because I knew that I was planning on coming to Paris. I don't know, I just fell in love with the idea of buying my first Chanel bag for myself in Paris. I think on the second day I got here, or my first full day, I went to the two Chanel stores on Montagna. My pronunciation can be really bad, I'm sorry. The first Chanel store I went into, the SA greeted me and asked me what I wanted and when I told her what I wanted, she literally said, we don't have that bag anywhere in Paris. And I was like, okay. She told me that all they had was the small size lambskin silver hardware. Do you want to take a look at it? And I said, you know what? No. Because I had already said if I don't find the exact combination I want, I'm not buying it. So I went across the street to the other store because there are two Chanel stores on the same street. And the SA in that store was a lot nicer. She took me to the corner and then she said, you know what, that combination is really rare to find. We don't have it. But they did have a medium 
caviar with silver hardware so she showed me that I was able to try that on she also had a pink classic with a black stripe I definitely didn't want that she was really nice and I said you know what I'm only here till Tuesday is there a possibility that you might get a shipment before then and she said realistically no because it's the Easter weekend Monday's a bank holiday she didn't know if they'd be getting any deliveries on Tuesday so I said okay is there anywhere else in Paris that could potentially have it she brought out her phone started doing a lot of searching and said actually it looks like they have stock at Lafayette Galleria and they also have stock at the Bon Marche which are two department stores so I said okay thank you very much I appreciate the information but I wanted to try the one more Chanel store which is the Rue Cambon which is the flagship store and if you buy your Chanel bags from that store you get like a white Chanel box instead of the black box I thought that would be such a great memento for my trip went to the Rue Cambon store I think the following day and they basically told me we don't have that bag so at this point I said okay I have a lead I have Galleria Lafayette and I have Bon Marche I was always going to go to Galleria Lafayette because they have the beautiful rooftop where you can see the whole views of Paris. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm just going to go and see what I can find. So I went there yesterday, yesterday being Easter Sunday. There was a line around the block for Chanel. And I just didn't have enough time because I had to be at the Louvre in about two hours. So I just had a feeling, no, I think in less like about an hour. So I just had a feeling that it wasn't going to work out that day. There was an essay that was walking up and down the line and he basically came up to everyone trying to find out what they wanted and when he came up to me I told him I'm really interested in the classic flat bag and I'm also really interested in the trendy CC and he said okay no problem you can stay on the line so at this point I'm on the line for like 40 minutes and there's literally at least another 40 minutes to go so I'm getting nervous because I'm running out of time because I have to be at the Louvre for one. So when the essay comes back around, I'm like, you know what, I'm really sorry. Can you just confirm if you actually have these bags? And he said, okay, yeah, that he would check. So I had already had the screenshots of the bags. I knew exactly what I wanted. He went inside, came back out in about five minutes and he said I'm sorry we don't have a 20 cc and for the classic I cannot say yes or no because stock changes very quickly <sighs> so at that point I'm like okay I can't miss the Louvre because that was the only day I could get a ticket for while I was in Paris I guess he could sense that I had a bit of urgency and he said do you want an appointment to come back tomorrow and I said okay that's fine I'll take an appointment and he said come back tomorrow so today come back on Monday Easter Monday uh, first he said five and then he said you know what 4 p.m. will be better and I'm like do you think then a morning appointment will be better in terms of stock levels and he goes no come at 4 p.m. I gave him my name I gave him my phone number and I remember asking him do I get a confirmation of the appointment he said no when you come tomorrow just go to the front of the line and tell them you have an appointment so you don't have to queue so today being Easter Monday I went to the Galleria Lafayette at 4 p.m. went straight to Chanel told the lady at the front of the store that I had an appointment at 4 p.m. She goes, do you have an email confirmation? I said, no. She goes, who told you you had an appointment? I didn't get his name, which in hindsight may have been my mistake, but I described the man to her, I gave her my name, and told her the conversation that I had had with the man yesterday. And she went in, spoke to someone else, came back out and said, I'm sorry, we don't have any recollection of your appointment. You'd have to queue up. She was really polite, but at this point I was just like, okay, so I'm queuing up again. And at this point it's like, an hour away. I actually was on the key for an hour 15 minutes. An hour 15 minutes is a long time to decide whether you really want something. So while I was queuing, I was able to see another girl who was actually trying on this bag. She was trying on a medium and a small. Actually, maybe they were two mediums. I don't know, but it looked like that one was smaller than the other. So she had on a medium with gold hardware. So at this point, I'm like, okay, this means that they actually have stock. So I was really encouraged because I just thought, okay, between the day before and today, what if they've sold out? Whatever. So now I'm kind of freaking out because now I know they have stock. It's like, oh crap, are you really going to spend this money? <laughs> like this is a huge deal for me. I know for some people on YouTube, this is just like every other day for them, but this is a huge deal for me. I've never spent this much money on anything in my life. And even though I had saved up for this bag for such a long time and I physically had the money, like to spend it was actually making me sick. So the whole like time I was on the queue, I was just going back and forth thinking, is this responsible? Are you sure? Do you really, really want this? So after being on the queue for an hour, 15 minutes, I finally get to the front of the queue. This really lovely guy comes out. It's a much smaller store than the Chanel standalone stores. And he said, what would you like to see? So I told him I would like to see the classic flap and I would also like to 
CC, the trendy CC. Obviously my heart was on the classic flat, but the trendy CC is really similar and it's so much cheaper. And I had never seen it in real life, so I want I told him I wanted to see those two. He was asking me, oh, is this for a special occasion? Like, you know, is it a birthday or a wedding gift? And I said, no, you know, I've just always wanted this bag and I was finally able to save up for it. He tells me the trendy CC, we don't have it. And the classic flap, I have to check. Then he asked for the specification of the classic flap that I would like. And I said that I wanted the medium size gold hardware caviar and I was also interested in seeing the small because I know the small they say is not so much smaller it's cheaper <laughs> so I also wanted to see the small he told me they didn't have the small but he would check for the medium and then he goes off and a couple minutes later he comes back and says oh you can follow me so next thing I know we're going upstairs and I thought okay because it was quite busy downstairs so we, we're going upstairs and the next thing I know he's walking to the back of the store and it's like a private room now I've watched every single Chanel classic bag story time on YouTube and no one said anything about a private room. So I'm like, oh, we're going into a private room. And he goes, yes, we reserve this room to show our important clients like really rare bags. So I'm just like, what is going on? Cause I had seen a girl try on a classic flap downstairs. So we go into the private room now and there are two bags. So he has the trendy CC in navy blue. And then he had this bag. And that was the first time I've ever seen the 20cc in real life. And honestly, guys, like that bag is beautiful. If that bag was in black, I actually think I would have had a harder time making a decision. But because it was in navy blue, I couldn't. Like, I knew that I wanted my first Chanel bag to be black. Guys, I'm in a private room in Chanel. <laughs> okay, so this is the classic flap. And this is the trendy CC. I really love the trendy CC actually, surprisingly, but not in the blue. This is a blue color. We have the exact combination I wanted. You see the price? That was one thing that I've always said. I wanted it to be black. The one color that I might have considered would have been a caramel, but even at that, I think I would have preferred the black. As soon as I saw this bag and I put it on, you know what actually did it for me? Seeing the chains on my shoulder just made me smile because I've envisioned this bag for such a long time. I fell in love in that moment. So while we're in the private room, the sales assistant is really, really sweet. He's like telling me about the origins of this bag, telling me about the trendy CC. At some point, I feel like he was pushing the trendy CC more. He told me that it was a special bag for a client who had decided to go with something else. That's the only reason why they had it. Not pushing me, but just saying, you know, like, this is a really nice bag. And then once I told him, you know, my heart was kind of on this one, he then starts to tell me the history about it, the Karl Lag Lagerfeld designed it, the history of the interlocking CC, he tells me about the Mona Lisa smile pocket, he tells me all the stuff. He tells me the correct way to wear the chain, which I hope I don't forget. I tell him, okay, this is the one I want. I said, you know what, I need a few minutes. So I sit in the room and I start freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, it's so much money. My mind is just racing and I'm just like, oh my God, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You know what? I have saved up for this bag. I've hunted for this bag ever since I got to Paris and they have it, buy it. Once I took the essay I wanted it, the process went really quickly from there. I feel like next thing I knew, I gave him my passport. He opened up a Chanel account for me. Someone else came and took my card payment. We set up the warranty for the bag and yeah. That was it. I forgot to mention that right before I left the store, I asked if I could have some water and that was what they put in the smaller Chanel bag that you can see on my bed. And then I also asked them if they could take a picture of me because I wanted to remember that moment. Nice, the essay gave me his card and said if I ever needed anything else to let him know. And that was it. And I came back home, well, to my hotel. <laughs> like I didn't even like properly inspect it. And I know they, they say you're supposed to properly inspect it because Chanel has all these quality issues. But honestly, the bag comes with a five year warranty and I just feel like if anything were to go wrong I could always get it fixed. The bag still has the protective plastic on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Ah, I guess I should open it up. I feel like anyone that's watching this video has probably watched a lot of these but yeah this is what the bag looks like on the inside. It's got the burgundy double flap and then it came with this tissue paper on the inside which I'm going to keep. And everything is like folded such a nice so nicely and it's all chanel branded i don't know if you'll be able to see that but it says chanel that's what it looks like it's got the cc's 
Chanel made in France and I was really excited to see that it was made in France <laughs> and yeah I have the little pocket on that side this little zip thing that everyone says stores absolutely nothing and then the pocket on the back so I'm going to zoom in a bit hopefully you can see I'm just filming with natural light so this is what it looks like and I'm really happy that I was able to find the bag that I wanted and I didn't compromise on any of the specifications this is what the back looks like so why I decided to go for I guess the specifications that I decided to go for so for me I originally thought I was going to go for the jumbo but the more research I did I just honestly like if this is my one and only classic flap I wanted to make sure it was versatile so this size for me just works for every occasion it works for day it works for night it works for formal it works for casual so I just thought this was the most versatile size I have never tried on a small I will say but I just felt like from my frame this probably the small might look too small on me I decided to go with the caviar even though I love the look of the lambskin I decided to go with the caviar because I just wanted again a bag that's versatile I don't want a bag that I have to baby. I don't want a bag that I'm scared to use. Hopefully, God willing, as I build my Chanel bag collection, because there are definitely more classic flaps that I would love to add to my collection. Um, hopefully, with time, I'll be able to try out a lambskin bag. But for my first bag, and also in black, because I feel like black would probably be the most worn. I just want to make sure it was in the most long lasting leather. And my essay actually confirmed. He said, yeah, definitely go for the caviar. I went for the gold hardware because originally I actually thought I wanted silver. And then the very first time I ever tried on a Chanel bag, which was in London, the essay told me only get silver if you're absolutely sure. If you're umming and eyeing, go for the gold because the gold is more classic. And I just love that everyone's been able to give me their feedback over the years. What else can I tell you guys? Why I decided to get this brand new and I tried to find this bag combination in the secondhand market and it was literally close to retail or higher than retail so it just didn't really make sense for me but now that I have this I would love to try a vintage Chanel bag in the lambskin not anytime soon <laughs> let's do some mod shots that's what the bag looks like on me for reference I am 5'8 so I think that I will most likely be wearing the bag this way and this way and the essay did tell me that when i'm wearing it long to make sure that the longer chain strap is furthest away from me so that the bag sits flat against me he also said it would be better for the leather i really can't believe it to be honest i've wanted this bag for so long and now i have it i'm just like are you being serious like <laughs> it's crazy but yeah this is my bag i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing i'm gonna go take it out on a spin on the town <laughs> i'm going on a cruise on the river sienne what more perfect bag to accompany me my last night in paris than this beautiful chanel bag so guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I really hope you liked it because there are not going to be any unboxings on this channel anytime soon. <laughs> like my luxury wish list is officially done for 2022. Let me not say that. I'm claiming more. Claiming more blessings my way. But I'm very, very grateful. I don't take this for granted. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything that you have your heart set on to buy, save up and buy it because life is short and i have no regrets and i honestly thought that i would have buyer's remorse by now all right guys see you guys in the next one stay blessed stay safe and take care i love it 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 i love